Hi everyone, it is Tom here and today we're taking a look at one of the first figures from the Primal Attack box that Mattel were recently kind enough to send us. So this figure is the Draco Rex. It is a repaint of a figure that came out in, I believe, Wave 1 of the Dino Rivals line. And as you can see, this is a green version of that dinosaur. So if we bring it closer to the camera, take a look at this figure in all its glory. You can see quite nice looking colours in the box there. Looks really nice. Draco Rex on the packaging alongside Owen and Blue. The Jurassic World logo in the top corner. This nice kind of sunset almost backdrop with the fencing. A look if we can get that in focus at the figure in the packaging itself. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Pretty clean paintwork for the most part. And then a look at the back of the packaging as well. And in the rest of this line, we have got the Ornithalestes, a Herrerasaurus, which is a repackage, uh, the Calovasaurus, and the Draco Rex, which is obviously a repaint. Now we've got all the logos, all the relevant information, as you can see on the back of the box of this figure. And as you can see, it is a part of the Jurassic World Facts app. So, all together, nice looking packaging. I really do like the Primal Attack colour scheme for the packaging. It really pops and helps these figures to stand out on shelves. So, let's open this figure up and take a look at it out of the box. Okay, so here we have got the brand new Primal Attack version of the Draco Rex out of the packaging. And as you can see, if we bring it a little bit closer and just get that head sculpt in focus, there are some really, really nice colour choices with this particular version. It's kind of like a lighter green, lower colour, uh, almost mint I'd say, and then this darker green kind of primary colour, which complement each other very nicely. Now it's hard to get that in focus, but there is a pupil in there. It's just coloured in the green colour to match it as well. And you can see nice details for the horns and the kind of crested details on the head of this figure as well. They look really great. The head sculpt as well in general looks fantastic. You can see lots of great sculpting all across the figure. And you can also see some nice detail for the figure's mouth as well, if we can get that in focus. Just there. So looks good. You can see good paintwork on both sides of the face. Some nice detail in the arms, some speckling of colours which looks really nice. Good details in the figure's back. Black kind of paint highlights there which look really nice. Black details on the thighs as well which again look nice and if we bring that a little bit closer you can see as the light hits it there's a lot of really nice texture work there as well which looks great on this figure. This is the same sculpt that we saw in 2019, but I think that it is a very nice sculpt. It's one of my favourite sculpts that we got last year in terms of brand new figures. So it is nice to see it reused here. And you can see there again great details on the legs. I do like how smooth the colour transition is here as well. Feels quite natural going from the green to the kind of more tan colour here, which is nice. Now you can see, obviously, on the bottom of the foot that this figure is part of the Dino Fax app, as you can see there. And it has also got the authentic Jurassic World logo, as all of these figures should. So, all in all, quite a good looking figure. Lots of nice detail, which then continues into the tail as well. And these creases and folds are all just nicely sculpted additional details, which help to make this figure feel kind of a lot more authentic. Um, Really, really nice texture work, quite consistent throughout the figure as well. So, not one I was necessarily excited for because it's just a repaint, but actually the repaint colours do look really, really nice in person. Now, in terms of articulation, this figure has got the same articulation as the 2019 version. So we have got a ball-jointed head or neck, which enables it to look around quite nicely. It's a kind of ball joint and a hinge, I believe. Then we have got the kind of, what I call the Gallimimus style joint, if we let that focus. In the neck, as you can see there. Swivels in the arms. Swivels in the legs. 
and then also swivels in the tail. So all in all, quite a nice, well-articulated version of the Draco Rex, and if we bring in the original version of the character, you can see that the two compared are rather different as well, which is nice. It's always nice when the repaints are pronouncedly different, as I think sometimes they're a little bit similar, but here, you know, this definitely feels a lot different to its original counterpart, which is great. So, with all that said, we're going to just twist it around, get that nice and in focus for you. If we just do that, there we go. I think that the Dracorex is a nice figure in the Primal Attack, uh, Wave 1 Attack Packs. If you've already got the original version of this figure, then you may not necessarily want to pick this one up. But if it's one that you missed out on, and you are a fan of this particular dinosaur, as I am, it's my favourite dinosaur, then I think that you're really going to like this figure, and you might want to get your hands on it. With all that said, that's about it for this review, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed this look at the Dracorex. Big thanks to Mattel for sending us a big package full of uh, Primal Attack goodies. We'll be looking at all of them uh, as soon as we can. And as always, stay tuned here for more content from me, JC, and everyone else on the channel. Take care, guys, and have a great week.